Hi, this is Brad Yeager with your weekly grain market update for the week ending Friday, July 24th. On the week, September corn futures were down 7 cents, while December corn futures were down 5 cents. August soybean futures ended the week up 7 cents, while November soybean futures were up 4 cents. Meanwhile, September wheat closed the week up 5 cents. Last Monday's crop progress report had corn conditions unchanged from last week at 69% rated good to excellent, which was expected and is still 2 percentage points ahead of the 5-year average. Soybeans surprisingly improved a percentage point to 69% rated good to excellent, while the trade was expecting a decrease, and that 69% comes in 7 percentage points above average the last 5 years. The Corn Belt in general is experiencing a tale of two regions. The western corn belt is looking really good with high ratings, while the eastern corn belt has been on the drier side, keeping crop conditions down a little bit more. China has continued to make purchases of U.S. corn and beans this week, even after both countries closed each other's consulates and tensions continue to rise. These purchases are needed to continue to whittle down our stocks as crops look good again for this fall. Soft red winter wheat took a nice little jump this week as they continue to cut back global wheat production forecasts in many different areas due to less than ideal growing conditions. On top of that, there was talk earlier this week that China may be looking at purchasing U.S. wheat as well. Local wheat harvest has been slowly progressing and should have a nice window this coming week. We have made it to the point of year where we usually head into a fall price slide. Not to say that Chinese purchases or bad weather can't give us a rally yet, but it's just, it just gets less and less likely as each day gets us closer to another harvest. Be proactive in making sales to avoid paying storage come this fall. If you have any questions or concerns, please give your local grain merchandiser a call. Thank you for listening to this week's Market Recap, and have a good weekend.